I started feeling a little sick. I had some stomach cramps and stuff at the very end of November, like the 26th or so. It was right around my birthday. And for about three weeks, I just had symptoms, the, the same stomach pains. I started getting tired, a little more fatigue, but it was nothing severe. I just thought I had maybe the stomach flu or just a little bug. And um, the stomach pains didn't seem to go away. So after about three weeks, I went to the doctor and um, he's like, it might be indigestion or something, but he wanted to be positive that there was nothing else going on. So he had me come back for some um, blood work the next day. And I got that done. So that was a Wednesday. And then on Thursday at school, my friends noticed that my eyes were a little jaundiced. They were turning yellow and uh, my skin was getting yellow. And um, so then we uh, called the doctor and um, they had actually called and left a message at the house saying that my liver readings were up. They were pretty high. Sunday, they diagnosed me with Wilson's disease, which is a genetic recessive disorder, which means both my parents were carriers um, unknowingly. And it's a disease where copper from like food and stuff builds up in your liver and your liver tries to get rid of the copper and in doing that it scars and um, then you have sclerosis of the liver and it starts to fail. Then a transplant surgeons came in and a transplant team and they told me that there was a possibility, actually a very good possibility, that I would need to have a liver transplant that my um, sclerosis had progressed far enough that you know medi medication wasn't going to treat the Wilson's disease and um, they told me that they just need to do a couple more things to get it all finalized and Monday night they actually put me on the uh, transplant list and they um, actually put me at the top of the nation so basically anywhere that a liver became available Barnes would be contacted to see if it was matched for me and that Monday I got moved up to the ICU at Barnes and um, uh, they just were watching me. I was getting sicker and sicker. I was um, having problems breathing and um, so they, uh, as the night went on, Tuesday I got really, really bad and uh, my organs started failing and my liver was getting worse and Tuesday night actually they found a liver that matched me so it was like 24 and a half hours they said that I was actually waiting on the list which is incredible considering most people wait years. I asked us did I have a transplant already and my dad was like yeah you got through the hard part. My surgeon uh, was Dr. Shinoy and um, they, all the nurses used to tease me when I was in the hospital. They said I was his little pet that he would call like every four hours to check on me to see how he was doing. And the nurses like couldn't even, one nurse was like, we can't even sneeze without Dr. Shinoy telling us to do so. Like when they were around me that he wanted to make sure that everything was fine. And uh, my coordinator is Suzanne Tiller and um, she's been amazing. I mean, my mom will call her if she has any problems and she just understands everything. and. She just is, they're all wonderful. Every, my whole experience at Barnes just, they, they made me feel very important. Like my, what I needed and what I wanted was what was gonna happen and it was, it was nice. Actually, I'm doing great. I've been very lucky. Um, they say, you know, if you get sick, it can trigger rejection and, you know, try to avoid, you know, sick people and stuff and I have had, one cold, I think, since then that I've actually needed to have an antibiotic for, and that was actually just a couple weeks ago. But I mean, I made, went through my whole first year, didn't get sick, haven't had really anything go wrong. I'm going to school to be a pharmacist. Um, I go to the St. Louis College of Pharmacy, and um, when I get out of school, I um, want to uh, work at Barnes in the transplant unit. 